Welcome back, everyone. If you've been following along, this is the third installment in our series on setting up a comprehensive IP telephonic system using free PBX. In our previous videos, we covered the essential steps from downloading to configuring the free PBX server. Today, we're diving into the functionality by demonstrating how to confirm and set up telephones as extensions. Stick around as we walk through the process and cap it off with a live demonstration making calls between two extensions to ensure our configuration is seamless and robust. Let's get right into it. After adding the extension to the free PBX server, click on Edit. Here, users can find the secret code for that particular extension. To register the extension into the server, enter this secret code into the extension. Users can change this code according to their requirements. Once this setup is complete, you can register the IP telephone device in two methods, from the device or from the web client of the telephone. This method may vary depending on the telephone manufacturer, but the following steps are common for almost all manufacturers. Now, let's explore both methods. Firstly, through the web client. Step 1. Perform a factory reset on the device. Step 2. Connect the device to the same network as the free PBX server. Step 3. The device will automatically obtain the IP address from the server. If not, manually configure the IP address in the same range. Step 4. Find the IP address of the device, for example, 192.168.8.113. Step 5. Open a new tab in the browser. Step 6. Type the device IP address. Step 7. And enter the default username and password. Step 8. Navigate to Accounts and enter details, such as label name, display name, username as the extension number, password as secret code, and server IP address, etc. Once configuration is complete, click on Confirm. It may take some time, and the status will show as, register. Meanwhile observe the screen of the device which changing from, no service, to the extension number. Indicating successful registration. Now, let's explore the second method for device registration. Step 1. Perform a factory reset on the device. Step 2. Press the menu button. Step 3. Go to settings and then advance. Step 5. Enter the default password of the device and go to accounts. Select empty, then enable it. and enter the username as the extension number. Then, enter the server IP address. And the secret code for the extension.
then click OK to start the registration. Upon completion, you will see the extension number on the screen. Now, let's proceed to making calls between two extensions.